We live in a world where people pass mathematics but fail life. Ungodly life formulas got the people faithless, able to calculate square roots but failing to understand that Jesus is the root of life. This iron of what people can and cannot calculate led me to think that Lucifer must have got chased out of heaven because he had failed mathematics. I mean, look at it from this perspective. By nurture, God is a mathematician. In the beginning, he subtracted darkness and added light, divided darkness. Light equal day and darkness equal night. Differentiated heaven and earth, integrated all water under heaven to one place. Gave the seed the permanent power of multiplication. Calculated way into time and solved the equation of sin by using Christ as the constant. So truly, Lucifer must have failed mathematics. In an exam where you're supposed to find the summation of God's greatness and give praise and worship as the answer, instead he used complex numbers, got blinded by the eyes which were rooted in selfishness. Instead of praise and worship, he gave pride as the answer. So like in first grade, it was one, the devil, minus three, the trinity, so basically it can't. He was thrown down to earth where he keeps deceiving people to fail mathematics like he did. Because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So the mathematics of life is this. Life is goes to Jesus. Jesus is goes to the Word. The Word is goes to God because God has the Word. The Word is goes to love because God is love. Still entertaining this thought of mathematics, the thought just hit me. That if my life was like a shape, what would it be? So I'm trying to square things out because I'm tired of being in stupid love triangles and hanging around circles where God doesn't matter. Regular scene patterns of smoking and getting high like a kite got my life irregular like any polygon with no line of symmetry. Buried in false doctrine, mind constantly plotting evil, just like the Pentagon. So really, if my life was like a shape, what would it be? Will, adding all the sides of my character of a godly perimeter, or after the principles of his word have calculated my area, will it be big enough for him to establish his kingdom in me? Or maybe, if my life was like a shape, it would be shapeless. For this one dimensional shape wouldn't contain me, maybe with two or three dimensional shapes, cylinders or cubes. Because the Holy Spirit will need to fill me. But still, it will be shapeless. For it is no longer I that liveth, but Christ who liveth in me. And the life I now live, I now live in faith. And faith takes any shape, like a heart. Because faith worketh through love. So if my life was like a shape, it will be shapeless.